All right, good morning, everybody. Oh, we've got the chair in the shot here and part of a kettlebell. The mess is just creeping, it's creeping out. Um, so again, today, Tom is still on his course of antibiotics, so he is not, um, not joining us. Uh, you are likely to need some bands for this session. So like I said, uh, we have these great little, little bands. Um, they come in all these different, different weights. Um, if you don't have bands, you know, you can, uh, you can do some of these exercises without bands, but better to substitute for something else. I'll give you guys some, some different options when we get to that point. Um, but other than that, we've got a ladder and we've got an AMRAP today. So we'll start with some stretching. I'm going to stretch my neck out a little bit and then we'll get into the workout. It, I don't think it's going to be as bad as yesterday, but I also don't think it's going to be very easy. So, well, let's get started and see how it goes. Um, again, I'm going to start with my my forward fold here. My neck is still bothering me and I can never get this angle right on this camera. Okay. And the lump is back. It's just all going, all going wrong. So we're going to start with our forward fold. So I'm just going to kind of sway around here and loosen my hips up a little bit. And then once I feel like I'm a little bit more mobile in my hips, I'm just going to put my pinkies in my elbows and drop my head. And again, just kind of swaying around. Letting everything relax. Okay. Then when you feel a little bit more relaxed, Put your hands on your shins, okay? Now you're gonna make your back go flat. And then hands come to the floor, or they can stay on your shins. Hands come to the floor and pull a little bit deeper. You can bend your knees if you, if you want to. Um, I'm gonna keep mine straight. Okay. So feeling a little bit, a little bit weird from sleeping on my neck the other day. So I'm gonna get down into child's pose and do a little bit of, of arms, upper body. Cause man, I'm sore from yesterday's workout. So I'm gonna get into child's pose here. I'm gonna stretch my fingers out towards the camera and sink my hips back onto my heels. Okay. So let your hips sink backwards, don't come up off your heels, and stretch your hands away from your, from your feet and your hips and all that. Trying to bring your chest down towards the ground. And just breathe a little bit and then walk to one side to stretch out. And then to the other side. Okay. Come back to the middle. Come up onto all fours and let's do some cats and cows. So make sure your hands are stacked under your, what are those? Shoulders. It's all, it's all going so well. And your, hand, and your hands are flat to the floor. All right, drop. Again, try and make sure you've rotated your elbows to the outside. My abs feel very tight from all the uh, sit-ups. Okay, we just have a look at what we're doing today. So looks like a pretty good mix of things. Um, 
Let's sit down here in like a low squat and kind of wiggle around and see how that feels. Um, if you have to stay up a little bit higher, um, if you're comfortable down in the slow squat, you can just go down into it. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing knee touches here. So these are really good for knee slides and anything where you need this kind of uh, this kind of rotation on your hip and knee. Um, if you can start to work these, they'll minimize your likelihood of injury whenever your knee turns in this direction because you've already got the flexibility to move that way and the strength to move out of the position as well. Okay, do a couple. And then we're going to switch to our, our Cossack lunges. So I like to try and drop my hip down as close to the floor as possible. Okay, while keeping my toes pointed up and then turn them down, come up to the middle. You can get a little bit of a hamstring stretch here and then come down to the other side. Again, I like to try and drop my hips down as close to the floor as I can because I feel that that gives me the best stretch. And then up to the middle. My stretching is gonna be a little bit haphazard today and probably not very long. I just want to get this this workout done. It's just one of those days. Okay. Back up to the middle. I also might sneeze a lot. Being out in the countryside is killing my allergies right now. All right. One more time. A lump. A lump in our floor is back. I thought we fixed it. Up and down. Okay, you guys can stretch out anything else you need to stretch out, but I have done stretching. I'm gonna get started. Um, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so our first, let me get my, my phone. Again, all going so well. So the first one is a ladder from 10 to one. We've done lots of ladders. So this is for time, not for, uh, not for rounds. So our exercises are guard pulls. So this is a pistol squat negative. Um, basically, when you come out and you pull guard, what you have to do is step up and step your foot up to the hip and basically do a one-legged squat, which is why we're adding these pistol squat negatives into our workouts. So the foot comes up, the hips come down, the hand plat, plat, plants to the mat, and then just a technical stand up to stand back up. Okay, so that's 10 in total, not 10 per side. Um, then we've got double legs. Again, we've done these a, a bajillion times. So I like to do them on both legs just to have the movement on both legs. And then, okay, we've got triangles. Okay. And top spins. So you can use your dummy for top spins if you'd like. I have Kira here. I probably won't use him though because I think he's gonna get in the way. Um, so top spins, you're gonna get on your elbow, this bottom leg comes through, the top leg comes over, and then you switch your elbows, okay? And come out from there. So it's like the equivalent, of, and also Kieran's kind of becoming unstuffed. So it's like the equivalent of doing one of these over the top of the person to start to take the back. Okay, but like I said, Karen's kind of coming unstuffed. So goodbye, Karen. Don't need a dummy to do them. Um, it just gives you a little bit of a frame of reference. So again, this is a this is a ladder covered in spiders out here. Just, uh, okay. All right, so this is a ladder 10 to 1. Really don't want to, but we're gonna do it anyway. I know that everybody's 
kind of um, losing motivation at this point. But can't rely on motivation. You have to just kind of get through it and harden up, I guess. So guard pulls, double legs, triangles, and top spins. And I've done enough talking, so we're just going to get started. Ladder, 10 down to 1. And let's go. up on the triangles. are burning from yesterday already. Lovely. triangles uh, like nine on each side here okay then we've got top spins Malia is texting me I hope it's not important you should be doing your workouts, Malia. Uh, top spins. Actually, I think Malia is at work, to be fair. You can see I'm moving through this a little bit slower, just a little bit tired. It's fine. Said I'm gonna do eight triangles per side. You guys can do eight in total if you want, it doesn't matter. Okay. 
and top spin. <laughs> Oh, we're back to the beginning again. Doing seven now. triangles. Two guard pulls again. Five. Uh, double leg. I just locked the double legs out of my mind because who wants to do them really? Thank <laughs> you. 
and ones. All right. That was pretty slow. I got 10 minutes and five seconds. Let me write it down. Uh, all right, 10 minutes and five seconds. So, I mean, that was, I gotta say, not very good. Um, but, you know, like I said, we got through it. Can't, can't complain too much. Next one we've got is a 10 minute AMRAP. So this, again, these AMRAPs, sometimes they're for speed and sometimes you should really feel a cardio workout after doing them. And sometimes they're just to do a bulk of exercises and get a little bit stronger. And that's really what this one is. This is not really about getting as many rounds as you can, obviously do as many rounds as you can, but this is about doing as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes while retaining good form because some of these exercises are not really for that. So the first one is our headstand press. We've done this multiple times. We're gonna do five of them or until failure. So if all you can do is attempt one, then that's all you do, all right? So you don't have to attempt five. You have to do them to failure. Think of them like pull-ups in that sense. So for our headstand press, we get into like our, our tripod position here, head on the floor. You have different options. If you are still a beginner, you can tuck up, okay, and tuck down. That's fine. That's a legitimate kind of press. You've got your straddle presses, okay, up and down. And you've got your pike presses as well. So your, your pike presses are also an option. Okay, these are the hardest ones. And ideally, if you can do more than one, you don't want to drop your weight down to the floor again. You want to keep that compression for the uh, for the for as many as you can do. Okay, then the next one is toe lifts. Again, we've done these a number of times. You can do them piked, lifting piked. You can do them lifting straddle, okay? I actually think these are harder than the piked ones uh, for some reason. I think the compression in your hip is just a bit of a different feeling. Uh, and then... We're gonna do 10 of those. Then we've got our fire hydrants. We did these the other day. You're gonna need a band for these. You don't need a band. You can do them without a band, but you should up the rep count, okay? So for your fire hydrants, we're gonna do, let me see, 10 per side. So the idea, let me turn this way, is to lift your hip directly to the side. Okay, so try not to bring your knee forward to lift. Let me turn a little bit, try not to bring your knee forward. Try to lift directly out from your hip. Okay, so 10 per side on those. If you don't have a band, I would do at least 20. Okay, and the last one are banded zombie walks. So you can use one band or two. I'll probably use two for these, but just to demonstrate, I'll use one. So. What we're gonna do is get some tension on the band and then we move this foot close and this foot away. Okay, you never lose tension on the band and you're gonna do 10 of them. So you're always just taking a little bit of a step with this one and this one goes further. Okay, so it shouldn't be like that, all right? So from here, I've ha I have tension, foot steps in a little bit and this one steps as far as possible. Okay, they're not very dramatic to look at if you don't have bands, you can do, let's see, you can do like a squat and a step and that'll kind of approximate it. But if you can get some bands, that's, that's even better. If all you have are like these kinds of bands, these big bands, you can attach it to something. I actually don't have anything in here to attach it to, but you can attach it to something, okay? So let's pretend this side is attached and then this foot just steps out and back in and out, okay? So if you have these kinds of bands, you can still do them, okay? You can also do, you can also do X walks as an alternative, which is getting here and stepping this way, okay? Also a good alternative depending on what you have. All right, so we're gonna do that for 10 minutes. 
And then I'm gonna do my abs, and then I, I'm I'm gonna go eat some cake. Probably not, but all right. So starting with our headstand press, ready and go. Uh, go. Okay, now my toe lifts. Now I've got my fire hydrants. I'm missing my black band, which is really the band that I want to use for this. So let's see. The far problem with having a black gym floor and a black band and they just disappear. Our zombie walks. This is the other reason we can do this particular workout for speed because we gotta mess around with all these all these bands. Good news though, Malia didn't actually have anything anything particularly important going on. Okay, so that's 10 per side, and then we're gonna go the other way. Okay, now we're back to the beginning. mention on the toe lifts, you can also tuck, you can do like a, a tuck in if you can't lift your toes, but you really should work on these because they're really good for you. So these fire hydrants, these with the bands are great for improving like your lasso guards and anything where you have to open your, your hips out to the side. So again, if you can get some bands, they're good stuff. Those look like nothing, but they're really, really hard. All right, that's round two. So these rounds are taking a little bit longer, which like I said, is fine.
So tomorrow I am headed out to the field near our academy to um, do an obstacle course workout with our strength and conditioning coach. Sorry, I can't talk into this the second. So I'm gonna do a session with Simon. I have a session written out that you can do at home, but I'm also going to try and film my session with Simon so that you guys can see it, so that if you have access to any, of any like outdoor strength and conditioning equipment, you can follow along with that. Um, And also, uh, if you're in our area, you, know, you can always contact Simon if, you're, if you want some um, like human interaction with your workouts. I get that. It's hard to be so isolated. Okay, back to the beginning. Uh, back to our presses. Exercise in all of these workouts. For some reason, my extra, extra, extra heavy band actually feels lighter than my extra heavy band. I don't know how that works. It's probably from China. Sketchy quality. All right. Yeah, that, that other orange band feels way, way looser than this. Okay. I know these look like nothing. I'll say it again. They hurt. Okay, back to my oh, back to my presses. Oh, that's what happens when you start to get fatigued. Not a big deal, just do a forward roll. Please don't roll over your neck if you roll out of your headstand.
Okay, I've got 10 seconds, so I'm just gonna do my... Okay. All right, so that's time. Let me just write down my number of reps here. Uh, um, let's see. Okay. Okay, so for that one, record your rounds and reps. But I think for today, the more important one to um, to look at is the first one for time. Because like I said, that second round, it was more about the strength than it was about finishing the round as quickly as possible. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my sit-ups. Um, I don't think I'm going to do those total sit-ups today because my neck is bothering me a little bit. So I think I might do some Russian twists. Um, I haven't decided yet. There's so many, so many ab variations in the world that like, I'm just covered in, covered in garden. Oh. So if you want to stretch out at this point, stretch out. If you um, want to do some sit-ups with me, you can do some sit-ups with me. Like I said, I think I might do some Russian twists today. Um, the kettlebells are too heavy, but I do have this, I do have this thing, which might be the right weight. Just got to work with what you've got, people. I've got an extension cable, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, this thing probably weighs about maybe two kilos. Not very much, but I don't have much of a core. So um, I'm going to do 100 Russian twists. You guys can stretch or you can do them with me. It's up to you. You can even do Russian twists without a weight. I'm just going to add a little bit um, to continue to build up my core strength. And again, I'm just, I'm just like buying time so that I don't have to do it, but I'm going to eventually have to. Just give myself a minute. So I think it's a, uh, it's convenient that Tom decided he wanted to do these sit-ups and has only done it once. Um, I think everybody should, should give him as much shit as possible for that. But we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to do our Russian twists. All right, 100 of them, and then we'll be back again to do it tomorrow. Ready? I'm off. Twenty. Thirty. Fifty or forty, sorry. Fifty. Sixty. Okay. Just need to take a brief, brief break. And then we'll finish the last bit. This is not quite heavy enough. I have a medicine ball in the car that I'll bring in tomorrow, I think, for for um, some more sit-ups. All right. Ready? Let's go. Seventy. <coughs> Eighty. 90, sorry, 100. Okay, so Russian twist, much easier than your total sit-ups. But, you know, we're doing 100 abs a day, and today I decided to do those. Um, so, like I was saying at the beginning of the session, not every session is a great session. It wasn't a great session for me. Um, but you know, we got through it and that's all like right now that we can really do is, is get through these sessions. So if you are part of our group, don't forget, we have a class tonight. We're going to be doing some more of what we did on Monday. Um, and we've got our technical lesson tomorrow night. 
if you aren't part of our group, I will see you here tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow I'm going to be out in the field doing some training, but I will also post up a workout that you can do at home. Okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.